Aries, this is your bonus love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands here that just flew out of the deck for you, Aries. Um, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn. You may feel like this person is a bit too slow to bring in action or to make a move towards you. I feel like you want to see where things can go with this person, but it's like you need them to speed up the process or at least tell you what their intentions are because we have slow, slow pace, responsible, but stubborn. Okay, so this person may want to take their time if you're dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I do feel like this Ace of Wands here is your energy. There's a spark between you and someone. And I feel like the person is moving too slow. Could be um, an earth sign. Doesn't have to be, though. Yeah, we also have the nine of swords. Whoever this person is, they're overthinking something. We have own worst enemy. They're, they have anxiety. I feel like this person may be, um, I don't want to say afraid of you. I don't feel like they're afraid of you. I just feel like that you're a little too much for them. Or it's like um, you're very forward. You know what you want. You don't beat around the bush. This person may move um a lot more methodical in their approach to things and you're not used to that some of you could also be dealing with an air sign libra gemini or an aquarius here we have the six of swords as well so are some of you thinking about walking away from someone or um because we have transition calm waters maybe there's a situation here between you and your person and you're like you know what i need to just move move forward here with the six of swords spirit what messages do you have for aries oh, okay two cards three cards flew out of the deck so we have the seven of wands, the empress, yeah, and the six of cups. All right. So now for some of you, I feel like there's going to be a person who comes back from your past. Maybe some of you are trying to make something happen with someone new and it's just not working out the way you want it to. Okay. And this is not for everyone, but I feel like this is someone's energy. And so you want the old person back that you were dealing with, but you could have moved away from this person. Okay for some time could have been a short amount of time or a long amount of time um everyone's situation is going to be different but we have the six of swords transition calm waters maybe you had to um walk away from someone to leave them behind for a minute to allow them to get themselves together or maybe you needed to get yourself together but if that's the case for whoever who this is resonating with i see this person coming back in with the six of cups we have the empress and we also have the seven of wands so some of you could be pregnant as well or birth in some sort of um, new creation, growth, or abundance. You may be coming into some money. Maybe you guys are working on um, a new endeavor. It could be a business, or maybe you're going to school for something, or you're just looking for a new job. But I do see something coming your, your way, okay? We also have self-defense and self-protection. So some of you are guarding yourself from someone also. So maybe with this Six of Cups, okay, if it's a water sign, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio, I also see Taurus energy here. I don't know if you want this person back. I'm not, um, I feel like you, some of you want them back, but it's like, you're wondering if they've changed or will things be better or will things be worse or, you know, the same. And some of you also could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for this bonus reading? Okay, wow. Well. So we have manifest dreams into reality. We have the magician here. We have the two of cups. Yes, yeah, somebody still loves you. Either you still love this person, they still love you, or the both of you still love each other, but you're not saying anything because we have the hangman. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Some of you are not speaking up about the situation, though. You're trying to, um, with the seven of wands, I did see that maybe you feel like you need to guard yourself against this person, Aries, because you feel like um, they take advantage when you show them how much you love them, how much you care. And it's like you want to manifest something with this person, you know, you want to come forward and have something with them. You want something to cultivate and to move forward, but you're afraid of this person's energy or either they're afraid of yours. Somebody is afraid of somebody's energy here. And it could simply be because this person did you wrong in the past. So you're like, okay, or someone did you wrong in the past. And you're like, you know what? I'm too, if I'm too trusting, like right off the bat, like things may not work out. And that's possibly why you're not moving forward right now with the hangman. Something's not moving forward here, but I feel like you guys want to. So there's a lot of love here with the two of cups for um for you guys, okay? But somebody's not speaking up on something. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for this bonus reading for Aries? Oh, okay, I tried to stop that from falling on the floor. We have the star card. So some of you are definitely dealing with an Aquarius and there's a lot of hope and spiritual healing coming your way with a connection. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, things are going to heal between you and this person. I do see positive energy here. And we also have the four of swords. Yeah. So we have healing and retreat. Like, wow. Right after um, one, right after another here. 
Definitely. Some of you are going to be healing the situation. And I feel like you want this. You don't trust it. But you do want this person back. You just want to make sure things are going to be different before you put your all into it. Spirit, what messages? Okay, Knight of Swords. Someone is rushing back in. Quick decisions, fast actions. Because either this person feels like you're going to slip away from them. Or they've, they've had some time to think about something, Aries. And they're like, no, I can't give up on my Aries. <laughs> this person is not willing to give up on you. I don't know why these incense keep going on. Give me one second. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to give up on the connection here. Also, you know what I'm picking up on, Aries? I'm picking up on the energy that um, you have a lot going on in your life right now, right? And it's like you want this person to step up to the plate so that you guys can move forward and have something. It's like you feel like somebody is moving too slow. I felt that when I was shuffling the cards for you guys. Somebody is not on your level. But you're trying to give them a chance anyway because you really want to be with this person. But you feel like they they lack ambition or they lack follow through or something. Like you guys may talk about something and this person is like, okay, yeah, we're going to do that. And so you jump in and you start doing whatever it is that you need to do on your part, right? To move this forward and to make shit happen. And then the other person is just dragging their feet. And you're like, well, wait a minute. We had a conversation. We talked about this. Like, why aren't you working towards this? feverishly like i am whether it's a relationship whether you guys because i'm also picking up for some of you that maybe you were supposed to move with someone move in with this person maybe you guys talked about getting a place together and you're wondering if it's still going to happen or you may even be thinking about traveling to see someone like if they live long distance yes yeah, we have the two of wands and we have the page of pentacles Okay, so someone is coming in to give you something solid here, but they're taking a long time. But they're very, it's like they're very decisive about what they want. And they're doing a lot of planning with the two of wands. So they haven't made a decision, but they will. It could be a fire sign, another fire sign. But I don't see it. Fire signs, I don't see them being slow at all. I feel like this is for some of you. It's a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or a um, an earth sign. We have the ten of swords. Wow painful ending so are some of you going to walk away from someone you don't have to make a choice some of you may have to make a choice here whether you're going to go with this new person if these cards don't stop flying on the floor give me one second aries some of you are going to have to um make a decision whether you're going to stay with go towards a new person or stay with the old person we have the six of pentacles so yeah you want an equal give and take i don't know if this is about money maybe you feel like this person uh, you feel like you're going to leave them behind because they're just not where they should be in life. Okay, this person may need to get a better job or they don't have a job at all and they need to work and, and pay, help you pay bills or be able to just stand side by side with you when it comes to finances. Okay, so I am seeing that here for some of you. Someone's finances is not um, up to par. They're not adequate. I do see a tower moment coming into, wow, this is about money. Yeah. Some of you may have a tower moment with someone about money, okay? It could be an argument over money, or maybe someone owes you money, and you're waiting for them to um, pay you. But I see something unexpected happening with the tower and the four of pentacles. So we have money, 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 and then we have the tower, okay? And I feel like you don't see... This could be an argument that comes about money, or um, a disagreement, and it could, like I said, it could be maybe you're trying to move with this person. Maybe you guys talked about it. And maybe this person said they were going to get a job or they were going to save and they're not doing it. And they back out. Like their energy becomes very different. And you're like, okay, so why now you're acting like you don't want to do this anymore after we discussed it? Or for some of you, somebody owes you money and they may tell you that they're going to pay you. And then they don't. They may tell you that they don't have it. We have a three of pentacles. Okay, and it could be um, here, some of you, you want to work with this person, but there's a third party situation going on. So if there's something that you don't know, I just feel like there's something that you guys don't know that's going to cause a tower moment for some of you. And it could be about um, a third party situation. But you, it's like you wanted to have something with this person and you thought that you guys can work you could work good and then something happens all of a sudden because that's what the sorry about that i hit the camera that's what the tower is all about it's like it comes out of nowhere divine intervention and listen right i know some of you are not going to want to hear this but i have to say it because it's, it's coming up in your reading like i'm channeling this energy um whatever happens here with this tower may be for the best it may be something that you don't see in the long run for example the universe may be trying to tell you that this person is not going to be good for you down the road. 
okay, in the future. And you may be thinking that you can have something with them and you're trying to like groom or prep this person because you know that they're not on your level. You know that they're not where they're supposed to be. And you're working hard to try to, to get this person to see something or maybe try to build them up and you feel like you guys could um build together or work together and then it's like you continuously leave this person behind because they're just maybe they don't work hard enough or like they don't see the um what word do i want to use here it's like they don't see the goal yeah that's what i want to say you're you're trying to reach a goal you have something that you're trying to obtain and i feel like this person they don't have any they're looking at you and they're like, okay, I see the goals that you have and things that you want to achieve. But I feel like somebody that you guys are dealing with, they don't, it's like they're fine where they are. And you're like, oh, you fine with this? Like, no, nah, I need more <laughs> or something to that nature. Okay. That's what I see happening here. Oh, wow. And at the bottom of the deck is the queen of swords. Some of you guys may cut someone off. This is cutthroat logical thinker. You may start thinking logically like, you know what? Um, I was, I, I thought I could do this with this person, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for this bonus love and relationship reading? And I know this reading seems like it's all over the place, Aries, but that's because I feel like the person that you're dealing with is. It's like one minute they're all in and they're making things sound good and you guys are talking and you having a conversation and the next thing you know, they're backpedaling. That's what I'm picking up the energy on for some of you. Now, this is not you feeling this way, Aries. This could be your person feeling this way if they're cross-watching. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. But we have the Knight of Cups here. So someone's going to come in with a romantic gesture, okay? Because I feel like you're going to be like, you know what? Okay, fine. Like, we can't do this together. And I'm just going to do this by myself. But I'm still moving forward. I'm still going to obtain my goals. You're not going to stop me. And yeah. And then this person is going to th start thinking about the situation. And they're going to not going to want to be left behind could be a water sign for some of you so where so they're going to come in and offer you something but i don't know if you're going to take it because the ten of swords is here okay so there's going to be some some painful ending maybe you really love this person you really care about them but you're like i gotta let them go okay or this could be someone feeling this about you spirit what messages do you have for aries what messages do you have for aries okay these two cards. oh i thought it was two it was only one page of wands so some of you are going to get a message from this person could be a younger fire sign some of you are dealing with Aries or Sagittarius maybe they um are very immature or they're younger than you and you're like you know what you need this person to grow up yeah you're gonna regret some of you are just gonna regret dealing with someone oh, my goodness these cards are slipping out of my hand we have the Hierophant here so some of you could be dealing with the Taurus okay and with the five of cups if you haven't regretted dealing with this person already I feel like it's coming some of you are going to regret giving your love to someone or like getting into a connection with them. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your bonus love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.